Okay, so um, thanks for giving us this um, opportunity to tell you a little bit about Rancho Biosciences. Um, a lot of times when I'm out in the field, I end up saying, this is my Rancho Biosciences hat, this is my Transmart Foundation hat, so this is my Rancho hat at the moment. So um, we've been winning a lot of awards recently, so we don't know how the heck we're getting them, but I'm guessing it's some of the people in this room that are, um, are nominating us. So at the beginning of the year, we got a, a CIO Review Award for 20 Most Promising Biotechnology Solution Providers. We've just won one for um, award in excellence in data curation services by the Healthcare and Pharmaceutical Organization in England. Um, and we're just about to win um, a Pharma Tech Outlook Award for the top 10 clinical data management solution providers. And so one of the things kind of going off from um, earlier talks, we need to um, do PR about Transmart. So I always say to Keith, every time I get interviewed, I always do a plug for Transmart. So PharmaTech interviewed me, and there's going to be a big section on that. Um, the CIO review, there's a whole bunch of Transmart stuff in that one as well. So I want to encourage other people to um, you know, start talking um, about Transmart and getting it out there. So Rancho Biosciences, we are a data curation company all day, every day. We organize and clean up data. We actually enjoy it. And so we have a lot of business because most people don't enjoy it. Um, and as a result of doing that data curation, we've ended up doing a lot of bioinformatics analysis. So customers come to us, now you've cleaned it. We don't have enough computational biologists. Can you now analyze that for us? And then often we get um, involved in IT infrastructure. So we work on a lot of workflows. Um, we're independent of any sort of like software or platform or technologies out there. And so going back to one of the things you were saying, Case, we're doing a lot of support for Next Bio at the moment. So they are at the heels of Transmart and a lot of customers are putting it in their workflow. We see Omicsoft and Next Bio in all workflows and they don't know whether Transmart's going to win or not. So they're edging the bets and that. So often we're supporting both of those platforms. But we end up doing a lot of IT work as well. And then I'll focus on today um, our Transmart services. And as you all know, Tatiana Casanova, she was um, in J&J in 2009, um, working on, the, um, on Transmart in the early days, curating clinical data sets and putting it in, um, in their platform. So since the last time we were here, we have exploded in growth. Um, so we're, Tanya says we're over 80 odd people now. Um, I don't know how that happened, um, but we're all over the US. Um, we're in England, Switzerland, Finland, we have a really big group in Moscow, St. Petersburg, India, and Australia. So um, we're a truly international growing organization now. Um, same principle. We're strictly a fee-for-service business model. Um, we don't sell subscriptions. We do own a lot of technology now that we've ended up having to build. So if we can't um, use something that's commercially available, we end up building a lot of our own tool sets. But we're basically trying to work with open source tools public domain data, as well as our customers' data, which is where we mainly play. And our job is to find value and knowledge for our customers. So we're always coming at it from a scientific perspective. We only work on scientific questions, and then we use technology to answer those questions. So we've curated pretty much every kind of data set that you can see out there. So um, all the oncology, the TCGA, CCLE, all kind of disease areas in geo. Um, um, we're even curating ADNI. <laughs> We've got two ADNI curation um, projects that we're running at the moment, um, dbGaP work, um, and then some of the commercial databases. So we've done GTEx and good old GeneLogic, which was a blast from the past. We've done that twice, and that, so that was interesting. Um, and then um, all kinds of um, proprietary data. So that's where we mainly end up focusing. So it's internal customer data um, that could be genomics data. We do a lot of assay work, animal work, and we're doing a, a ton of clinical work at the moment. And then we take that to various endpoints. So a lot of the times we're putting that into Transmart, but it could be into NextBio, looking at gene sig signatures. We have some customers who um, are big on RDF. Um, we do a lot of work with Omicsoft. Um, we work with Oracle. And then we also, there's a lot of internal platforms that our customers use. So um, on Transmart, um, 
I would say the majority of our customers are still on internal servers. Um, so the reason for that is usually because it's proprietary data. They don't want to put it on the cloud still. Um, and so, and then also we've seen some, you know, dbGaP is very strict on um, how you can use their data. So that those kind of things push people to use internal servers. Um, and then uh, many of our farmers don't just have one instance of Transmart. They may have multiple instances, and that may be led by um, therapeutic area reasons or, or other rationales. And then we do um, cloud work as well. So this is great when you're creating collaborative environments. So we've done quite a few of these, but ones that we can talk about publicly. Um, it was a great one with Janssen on IBD and Crohn's. So we had um, eight years of longitudinal data from the Army and Navy, and this is an ongoing project. Um, Prometheus is a, a diagnostic company in San Diego. And then um, John Colombell from Mount Sinai and um, Joe Murray at Mayo. And so we, we, they all gave us data, all different kinds of data that got curated and loaded into Transmart. We did it on AWS, and then we, um, then we went around to the world and trained people and got them to use it, and we're trying to get them to publish and that. So Janssen found an analyte in it, so we're going to try and get them to publish on that if we can, and that's been an ongoing project. Um, and it's a great way to share data, share results, and that. So we want to encourage more of this. And then we've also done work um, with um, BT as well. So we have a new announcement to, um, to tell you about with IBM. And so we have created a, an alliance with them. And so they're now going to be offering Transmart Ready servers, which come integrated um, with any architecture. So we will take the IBM box, we will install Transmart on it, we will ship it out to the client, and then when it's on site, we'll make sure that it works there because as all, once you plug it in, um, think, things can definitely change. So the server comes in different configurations depending on your storage requirements. Um, we will optimize it. There's IBM people um, that are present here today so they can tell you um, about the speed and performance on it. Um, and they're going to be presenting a poster here as well, so you can go and talk to them then. And then they're also going to be presenting it at the um, Austin Supercomputing Medium. So we also do a lot of maintenance with Transmart. So um, as we know, sort of like the, um, the upgrade process is not optimized or commercial. Um, so we have to do all the new installations for our customers when new releases come on um, board. And then that often means reinstalling data sets as well, which I think, you know, on, on the coding, we need to fix that because it's, it's just so not normal. <laughs> um, and so we have to make sure everything's running smoothly as well. And then we make a lot of changes to Transmart. So it doesn't always do what our customers want it to do. So we go in there, we fix it, we change it. Um, and so, uh, again, everything's always led by a scientific question. We don't just do it. It's got to be, what, you know, what's the question? What do we need to do to fix it, to answer this? So um, later on, Tanya will present um, a case study that we've done with um, GSK. So they wanted a proving ground. What can we do with biosensor data? So they wanted to know, we want to know what's and all, what can be done now and that, and what do we need it to do, or what needs to be changed, and how much is that going to cost, and how long it, you know, is it going to take, and how much effort. And so we'll talk about that later. Um, we'll, we also did a lot of GWAS work with um, Merck, which we'll be presenting that on Wednesday. So again, sort of like, you know, how do we get it in there? How easy is it to get in? So, you know, and working with it and applying it in a cancer case study. And then also EQTL data, which was um, really, really hard work. Lots of um, cursing, and that, but we got it in there, and um, we'll present that as well. And then we've done quite a few integrations for customers. So um, we also have a lot of customers that just have Transmart as a as a bucket, as a holding place, and the the end customer just doesn't want to use Transmart, but they're okay if it's holding the data there, but it's like, how do I export it? And I just want to get it out of there, and I want to use MATLAB, or I want to use my, my favorite tool. And that's fine, and that, you know, Transmart doesn't have to do everything, but we're also working on export, and I know Pfizer's done some really, and Hugo's here as well, I saw him at the breakfast bar, and that, there you go, and that, so they've done a lot of export work, and they're always great, they always put everything in GitHub, and that, and, and share with the world, so that's great, so we're going to start taking a look at that, so we're probably going to call you, and that, and, you know, see what we um, 
can do with exporting. And then we also develop a lot of our scripts for our customers um, and then integrating those into the Transmart workflow. So again, if we don't have the analysis tools, let's glom it on with our scripts and um, we'll present some of those. So we love cleaning data <laughs> and so we bring it on. We can never have too much. And, and I want to do, Paul did a pitch last year, so I'm copying him again. So we are hiring. We, we, we hire every single week at the moment. So we need more genetic curators. We need more, I need about 30 clinical curators. Um, we need project managers and bioinformaticians. So thank you very much. Thank you, Julie. So Pleasure. I think uh, this brings us to the coffee break. Uh, we are running out of time and uh, propose we try to be back uh, near 11 o'clock. Coffee will be uh, outdoor going down.